Hi, I'm Matthew DeFranco, the Chief Scientific Officer at Image Biopsy Lab. I have with me here today Yuri Nicholas from UCB in Brussels, and we're going to ask him a few questions about a project we're working on together. Yuri, can you tell us a bit about yourself, your technical background, your current role? Sure, Matt. Uh, happy to do that. So, I'm uh, currently actually active as a computer scientist in UCB IT's AI team. Um, I've got a background in biomedical engineering, uh, and I'm currently also affiliated as a PhD student to the KLO um, in a lab actually called the Medical Imaging Research Lab, which is hosted in the hospital and which brings together people from engineering um, uh, and medical. Mm -hmm. um, my current projects involve all, all along image analysis projects, uh, specifically medical images. We try to do disease quantification uh, and detection, uh, and some which are a bit broader in, in the domain. Okay. Uh, can you tell us a bit about how the idea of BoneBot was conceived at UCB? Sure. Uh, my colleague Mark um, started off the idea in 2017 and pitched it to our innovation fund. Um, from there onwards, we tried to identify patients with fractures early on and avoid them having uh, secondary fractures. We went a bit into um, startup mode. Uh, we stepped out of our current role and we tried for uh, a couple of months, we tried exploring actually the idea. Mm -hmm. And we had to report up to our sponsors that we were actually onto something and we kept going eventually. Um, and now we're here partnering with Image Biopsy Lab to really make it happen. Great. And what impact do you think the technology will have on patients but also the medical community in the future? That's a really good question. We want to avoid that patients with osteoporosis have to suffer multiple, gradually more severe uh, fractures when the disease uh, progresses. Um, there's quite some evidence in scientific literature that those vertebral fractures are highly prevalent and they're strong risk predictors for subsequent fractures. Yet they often go underreported on medical imaging. So we want to opportunistically screen for those fractures and make sure they get to the right expert and such that patient can get diagnosed and managed as they should. So what challenges have there been so far and how did you overcome them? Currently our biggest challenge is to scale up um, our first experimental results um, and that's exactly why we've partnered with Image Biopsy Lab. Scale is needed to prove safety and efficacy of the solution but also to bring it into clinic and make sure it really touches our patients. Actually, whenever we had a challenge, our answers were always quite similar. We tried to partner with the right expert who has a proven track record in the field that can help us bring it to the next step with the right pace. The open innovation mindset of UCB, I think, is key to explore and open up whenever it's needed. Great. And how does it actually work? Flamingo automatically processes abdomen and chest CT scans of patients of age 50 years or older and flags those scans in real time uh, to the expert. We're taking the opportunity to take any scan, taken for any reason of chest and abdomen, so it could be pulmonary or liver, liver indications, and make sure that any vertebral fracture present is identified and acted upon. This will be happening behind the scenes, nicely integrated within the hospital system and within all regulatory and uh, privacy regulations. So how did the cooperation with Image Biopsy Lab come about? When was it clear to you that you had to combine your competencies? 2020, a dedicated team started looking into the strategy of how we can get most out of the bone world technology. We finally decided to partner up with Image Biopsy Lab because they demonstrated being a leader for delivering AI solutions for MSK and have a proven track record of bringing such solutions into the clinic. We realized that combining our mutual strengths was beneficial for getting BoneBot faster into the hands of many more patients. So. Uh, what new product has actually been created, and how does it differ from the competitors? Flamingo is the first fully automated vertebral fracture detection solution that's capable of detecting the fracture grade and its location. It can process any abdomen or chest CT scan and leverages the three-dimensional information present in those scans to determine whether a vertebra is fractured or not. Numerous clinical studies have shown that patients suffering a vertebral fracture have a 30% increased risk in subsequent fractures, and this risk actually increases with the severity of that fracture. We believe that our solution will aid clinical experts in prioritizing those patients with the most severe fractures who require immediate medical attention and avoid further fractures. Okay. So what will be the next steps for the IB Lab Flamingo development? We're currently very busy integrating the Bombo technology into the IBLAB Zoo, after which Flamingo will effectively be born. 
Next, IBLAB will be piloting Flamingo in clinical sites across the world to gather more feedback from our users and prepare for regulatory filings in Europe and the US. So is this the first experience for UCB to develop a product in collaboration with another company? No. Um, at UCB we recognize that we cannot solve the most complicated challenges in healthcare on our own. We therefore invest in meaningful partnerships with those who share our vision and complement our capabilities. We have a track record of partnerships with academia, big technology players such as IBM and Microsoft, but also health startups. In epilepsy, for example, we've partnered with Biteflies to develop a wearable sensor that monitors seizures in the home setting. In your opinion, what role do you see AI playing in the future of medical science and health? AI is becoming ubiquitous in our everyday lives and it's also transforming healthcare rapidly. Numerous studies and clear medical products demonstrate how AI can already analyze the growing amounts of data in a reliable and consistent manner. As the digitalization of our health increases, so does the potential of leveraging AI for getting a better understanding of diseases and supporting medical professionals for making better informed decisions for treating patients based on the many data points available.